let's take a look at junk bonds. JNK, Barclays High Yield Bond ETF. What a fascinating chart. Can I do stage analysis on this? Can I do classic chart trading on it? Sure, why not? The trend, the trend, guys, 12 months from average, the higher prevailing trend, follow it. If you would have followed it here, look at that. You could have rolled all that price action all the way down here. You'll never get out the bottom. You'll never enter at the top, but you get to ride most of it, especially with the weight of evidence approach. It's not just a chart. It's not just a uh, close below moving average, below horizontal breakdown line. It's how's the market doing? How the other time frames are doing? Are you outperforming its peers? Are you choosing the best short within its peers, its other junk bonds out there? How's the economic data? Are we are we approaching a, an area where the unemployment is super high and we still have a way down for it to contract? And then as the unemployment's contracting, we were getting better and better results on the assets. Whole bunch of stuff, man. You gotta you gotta widen your scope. The price action, of course, is the final decision. But when the price action is in accordance on multiple uh, frameworks, on multiple um, different areas, you're looking at when it all coincides. Timber. All right. Check it out. Okay. While I'm talking, I'm still looking at the chart. And what do I see? Stage two on the monthly. Stage three. Stage four. Pullback. Right here. So we're at a top formation. Broke down. Pull back towards that monthly defined Support now to resistance. Touch, touch and go. The 12 month moving average, great risk reward entry area right here. Goes down uh, the, below this uh, monthly defined support. Just test, tested it once, but uh, close below it the next time, the second time it tested it. Down, down. Closing in on. these monthly defined gap down support long wick lots of noise so it came down but the buyers came in strong here same thing here confirming the buying pressure and off it went buyers came in next month gap down the buyers really really came in in uh, january but now we're closing in on monthly defined support and resistance we're closing in on that monthly defined or that monthly that 12 month moving average going downwards. These are part of the, check out lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. These are the clues you're looking at. Oh, hit there. Good short entry. Oh, protected by that uh, neckline. 12 month moving average still declining. Check, go down. And until we go retest these previous lows and eventually these all time lows here. And let the 12 month, 12 month moving average go downwards and then go up and down lower low until it flattens out until the 12 month average runs out and then you zigzag and go back up all right all right let's go on the weekly stage analysis so the yield the j and k was underperforming the spx for a while Recently, it has been, let me zoom in here on the weekly, it has been overperforming this PX. And we are about to go back, maybe in negative territory right here. So we're going to look at the Gen K to see if we could, um, if it'd be the best short. If you're outperforming the SPX, that means you should be shorting the SPX. Uh, you never want to short when you're gaining steam against the SPX. You want to short only when you're starting to underperform the XPX more and more and more and more. Inverse that for long. You never want to go long when you're underperforming the XPX, declining towards it. 
but when you're going up against it those are clues that uh, you could enter long what happened here on the weekly guys this is such a drop okay so stage four started right here huge red candle huge warning sign the volume is awesome for that two weeks volume volume below each cloud stage four but uh hitting that monthly defined support or defining it more and more so sideways move letting that 30 week moving average catch up underperforming the spx all that time going above the 30 week average so this was a delicate zone on the 12 month moving average you were good it was just a touch and go so sometimes you do have noise above the 30 week average but if you do the stand way you would exit and you would wait to reclose below it and if it's below you're closing below and you, you redo your framework is a 12 month average are you below it um, are you below monthly defined support uh, you redo the whole framework and if it's check 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 again you say okay i'm going back in because this could be seen as a stage four continuation breakdown stan talks about initial breakouts after that you escape away from the 30 week average and you go sideways move and then when you consolidate close to 30 week average there's opportunities to have a stage two continuation breakout and all this same thing here that happened for and the stage four decline except since you went out of the three average those are signs that uh, you could be going back up you don't want to stay there so it's more prudent to get out wait a few weeks one two three four five weeks wait for the practicing to go back down under and after that you could enter if the weight of evidence if everything is still in favor guys so that's a cool kind of thing to know that you exit yeah you're not stressed about the weight of evidence the clues that got you in uh, dissipating disappearing you win sidelines and then you re-decide, reassess to go in if all the weight of evidence is in your favor, guys. It's a low stress, uh, high reward type of thinking. There's no fear of missing out. You, you save time. It's win, win, win. There's no losses. Don't see the move. If the move actually continued down sharp and it went down, it's not even the world. You're on the sidelines. You have your cash. You could re-enter any other stock, any other instrument that's just breaking down that might be even better than that one. If you're re refusing to exit when it's above 30 week average, is you're probably too much attached to that stock, to that instrument, to that decision. Uh, it's not the end of the world, guys. If you, you get it wrong, I get it wrong all the time. Reassess. And after that, you get back in and then you ride that stage four decline. Lots of huge red candles on those down days. But then you had a strong bounce hitting that monthly defined support. Oof, a huge green volume right here, but then slowing down right here, right under the 30 week moving average, right under monthly defined support, turn resistance, uh, right under, this is our 12 month moving average. Remember, I circled it. So we're closing in on a good potential short entry, underperforming the SPX very soon. Let's go see if I could have, if I have some uh, bearish divergence some indication on the weekly against a fast stock lower highs on the indicator lower highs on the price action no bearish divergence on the weekly the monthly what i want to see guys remember it's not bearish divergence i want to be i want to stay in that zone this is a little high i want it to go back down this is nice you want the you want overbought conditions in an uptrend and when it crosses over that's a cross and trend guys that's a huge move so this is trying to go back up if it goes back up here it might be going in an uptrend back for the uh, for J K guys so you want it to go back down stay in this zone here this power zone of oversold on the weekly guys on the monthly okay we're going to need more details so i'm going to go in on the daily see if the daily if the smaller time frame start flipping in your direction if the daily starts flipping then the monthly might be the weekly might be flipping next and after that the monthly all right there we go move all drawing tools guys it's so messy okay so we're above nice green volume guys on those candles up zoom that 
gaps up doo, 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 above the 50 week average under the 200 so the 50 week moving average is the fastest moving average i'm looking at it happens there's noise above it um, don't rely on it too much as a maybe embryonic signal that that the um, the bull run or the move that crosses against it is uh, is uh, pretty powerful now we're hitting each cloud defined resistance so that might drag that back down We're starting to get oversold conditions, bearish divergence, oversold, I mean overbought, sorry, my dyslexia is killing me. Bearish divergence right there. And any one of these, since the indicator is super high, bearish divergence on all these peaks, peaks to peaks, those highs to highs, whole bunch. There you go. So all that is telling me this is, is hitting on the daily it has a lot of pressure that it wants to push it back down the 200 day moving average wants to push it back down we're hitting that monthly defined support turn resistance um the cloud maybe wants to bring it back down so this and a small contracting volume right here after this big thrust up so this was the bullishness the most bullishness i see in the the rally was a strong move up cross above the 50 week moving average but right now i think the weekly uh, this daily divergence, the weekly setup uh, below 30 average is going to push it, push us back down, and the monthly setup that we're hitting, that monthly defined, yeah, I erased all my lines. Good job, Pat. We're hitting that monthly defined breakdown line on turn support, 12 close to 12 month average. So this is a good risk, low risk environment for a continuation short. You just got to make sure. We just got to wait for the end of the month, guys. One more week. I love it when a week and a month close almost together. We're going to get clear signals. If we stay below that level, if we stay in the 3-week average, if we stay below that 3-week average, and if, if we could get a nice red candle right here, a nice red candle, uh, maybe with good red volume, that would confirm that high. Remember, to know if it's a high, you get green, green, red. So we need a green and a red beside each side. Just like here, you know it's a bottom. Red, green, green. That is the bottom. Woo! All right, JNK. Strong bounce, but um, when you take a step back, you do the weight of evidence. You know what to expect. You've prepared. And if you don't prepare, you're preparing to fail. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Bye.